this struck you as a little bit of a case of Elon being stubborn. Elon, the disruptor, wants to disrupt everything, is against unions. And even though the fact that this is the way it's been in Sweden for many, many years, and the vast bulk of workers work you know, under these kind of agreements, he can't get himself to accept it. Yeah, because I do think that, you know, of course, some people are going to say that, well, if you, you know, agree to a collective bargaining, you know, deal with workers in Sweden, well, this this sets a precedent and, you know, a sort of slippery slope situation. I don't think that that's what actually is at stake here. When, you know, you talk about a collective agreement for 130 workers, is that really going to make a difference in this really difficult fight that unions and the U.S. and Germany are going to try and wage to organize thousands of workers, I don't think it really makes any difference.